When it comes to breastfeeding in public, I just say just whip them out. I think when it comes to, you know, if you're feeling exposed or you, you, or, you or, or just quite vulnerable, it often is other people's problems, not yours. You've got to feed your baby. You feed your baby however you can and however you see fit. Look, it's always good to have a sort of a scarf, kind of pashmina, any kind of sort of cover up just to make you feel comfortable. But when it comes to other people's opinions and the comments and the looks, just ignore, ignore, ignore. Your baby's hungry, you need to feel comfortable. Just feed them. When it comes to sharing, let's be honest, does anyone really like sharing? You know, we've learnt that, like, it's the polite thing to do. But if you've got a cake and you want to eat it, it's... You know it's a nice thing to share, and it's a tough one. So for adults, we've learnt to share. So when it comes to children sharing, I, I understand that base instinct to not want to. So, yeah, look, bottom line is, when it comes to playing with their friends or with their siblings or with you, they learn that those are nice manners and that it's the way to get on in life. But I also really do kind of relate to not wanting to share cake. Who really wants to? Whether you're a stay-at-home mum or a working mum, you know, at some point you still have to have that separation, even if it's just going down to the shops. It's still hard in whatever context, because, you know, you want to know every move they make, every thought, everything, really. So when you're away from your children, it's really, really difficult, and I think that there's, there's no way of making it easier. I don't, I don't care what anybody else says. It's just it's very, very hard. I think the only thing that does help is just knowing that you're not alone, that there's a lot of mums that, that are experiencing this too. But, um, yeah, it never gets easy. It's like umbilical whiplash. You just want to just fire right back there. When it comes to shopping with children, I don't think blackmail on this occasion is a good way. I think it's actually just making the shopping the event itself. So rather than you looking at, let's get the shopping out of the way, then we can get to, you know, A's out of the way, B, we can get to B, I think you actually make the shopping the actual event. So look at the things you can see, what's this? I, mean, I know that takes time, and I know that that's not always convenient, but look, you, you've got to find a way that's going to make it work for you. Every day as a mum, I worry about what my children are eating, if they're clothed well, you know, if they're warm enough, if, you know, they're, they're using their manners, and just trying to help them with their development on every single level. And then feet always get forgotten, I feel. Mums need to know that you've got to look after your children's feet right from the very start, and it'll actually help you prevent problems in later life. My first pair of shoes when I was a little girl were Start Right Shoes, and my daughter's first pair of shoes were Start Right Shoes. I don't know if you know, I mean, it was new to me as well and to many new mums that children's feet are so malleable right up until the age of, like, well, until their teens. So you really have to look after the feet, and in so doing, you wear fitted footwear which encases the foot and just supports it. I put the same effort into their sleep and their manners and their food and what they're wearing, so I should definitely put it into their feet, and, and so should other mums. When it comes to shoe shopping, I say the best thing is give yourself time. It's not a quick experience. You can't just run in, grab the first thing on the shelf because it looks pretty and then dash out of the door. You've got to get your child's feet measured and also they've got to get accustomed to it all. It's something that's really new, so you can't take that for granted. You want to get the best fit that you possibly can and you want them to have a really good experience so that they associate it as a good thing rather than like something torturous. So every three to four months, go and get your child fitted. It's completely free and it's so important. Make it fun, give yourself time, remember they've got to get measured, they've got to walk around in it, and all of this takes a bit of time.